And now this video is going to be on how to replace the battery of your TomTom Tom GPS and this is going to be for the XXL 550 model. Now there is a video on YouTube that shows you how to do this. It actually comes with the battery and the kit that I ordered. The only reason I'm doing this is to show you that an everyday guy just like you can also do this uh, it doesn't take an expert it's real easy just go slow take your time make sure not to break anything and be gentle and uh, once again uh, by being gentle you won't break anything and you should be able to do this now just to this is going to kill all of your settings in your TomTom -tom because what you're doing is replacing the battery so there is no capacitors, there's no internal power storage besides the battery. So once you yank that battery, everything is going to be erased off the TomTom. -tom. And then once you put the new battery in, it's going to be as if you just turn your TomTom -tom on for the first time. So copy all of your settings. Hello everybody, once again, this is going to be another how-to video. And this how-to video is going to be how to replace the battery TomTom -tom GPS handheld navigation system which the people at TomTom Tom say is unserviceable. Okay, now what you want to do is, in order to get a battery for this, you want to find out which model of TomTom Tom that you have, and you can get it on Amazon.com, or what I did was, is I bought mine on Amazon.com, and then uh, the manufacturer is this website, which you see right here, new99.com. They are the direct manufacturer for this particular battery and they sell a whole bunch of other batteries for other devices besides GPS, uh, tablets, cell phones, whatever you want you can go to the website I'll put it in the descriptions link. You're going to need several tools one of them is going to be what is called a spudger it's basically a slim plastic or metallic that is used to wedge into the tiny cracks in between the devices that you're going to be prying open and off and you are also going to need a Torx screwdriver two sizes when you buy the battery replacement kit from this website or through Amazon uh, it'll come with it I'm not exactly sure what size and also um, Torx screwdrivers are also magnetized so it makes it a lot easier for you to remove the screws because these screws are really really tiny okay. but what you're going to do is you're going to take your TomTom -tom, lay it flat and if you look at on the side of the TomTom -tom where it plugs in to get charged there's a label now the label has a barcode and it has some miscellaneous information about your get your spudger or a razor blade or something really small pry that label off uh, I tried using my fingernails a budger or putty knife guitar or whatever you have and then once you pry the sides the left and right is gonna be one screw on each side that you're gonna have and then once you pry that label off expose screw remove the two screws use your spudger to work all the way around the TomTom, -tom, prying it open gently. Uh, these things are very delicate and they love to break really easily. So uh, as stated before, work your way slowly around the edges of the TomTom -tom device, inserting your spudger, guitar pick, or whatever thin device you have, prying it open. Uh, gently work around it. If you want, you use several guitar picks on each corner or just work your way around. I use the provided spudger. You can see to the right hand corner of the screen that that little thing right there to pry open the sides. Now once you pry open the sides you're going to want to gently lift the TomTom -tom unit up and you're going to want to lift it up and once you lift it up you will see that there's a ribbon cable connected directly to the monitor motherboard. You don't want to tear this so you want to be very gentle. Just lift it up to the direction that the ribbon is facing and then gently set it aside on the ground. We also have other board is right here along with the battery within on the right hand. We're going to focus on these two screws that you see right here in the front and there's also a third screw which behind that you can't see in this you will be taking all three of these off in order to remove the motherboard to get access to the battery okay so this is the third screw as you get behind the ribbon cable for the monitor all three of these have to come out your torque screwdriver to remove these now once you do just place it on top of the monitor ensure not to break or damage anything once again this is a very uh let's just say expensively made piece of hardware 
and stuff likes to break and crumble and chip off. Okay, so now what you're looking at here, battery's still connected to it. As you can tell, the speaker also has a connection on the motherboard. You're going to leave that alone. Don't touch that. That's that for you. Okay, now the battery itself is just a little connector, three prong. You're going to gently pry it and use spudger, use your fingers. Uh, you could even tug on the wires. Just have one finger on the white part of the motherboard that's holding that in and then on the other part the black part you can pull by the wires or use spudger uh, i decided to be really careful and use the spudger to carefully pry that off to here in this now the battery like i said has a lot of adhesive on it so what i did was i grabbed the spudger and both the screwdrivers to stick in the corners to kind of wedge my way in there pry it up and out so once again even though it does have a lot of adhesive on there still want to be very gentle you do not want to break the housing of okay so once you have the battery out you're going to take your new battery and put it in it's the same size so it fits exactly the same as the stock one did and the wiring is just the same the prongs only fit in one way you can't really mess it up you reattach the three pronged connector to the motherboard put the battery in its place now this is an optional step you can take it if you want what's happening here is the new battery does not have any adhesive on it so if you really want it to be safe or stable or not just safe or stable but if you want to just stay in one place you can put some adhesive on there some 3m tape uh, you know a dab of gorilla glue jb weld whatever you like to use It'll be fine you don't have to use a lot just a little dab will do and once you do that you go ahead and you flip the motherboard back the way it's supposed to be facing it's on the Okay, so what you would do for the motherboard when you put it back on is loosely put this on. And the reason I say loosely is because the holes are aligned really specific. So if you just go ahead and tighten one down, it's not going to fit. So just start from the left, work your way up to the top, and then finish with the one on the right. Once again, keep them loose. And then once they're all on, everything's aligned, tighten them back up. Now, once everything is secure, go ahead and grab the other half, the monitor half of your TomTom, -tom, and then go ahead and then press everything back together. Uh, everything should snap in snug and tight. Work your way all the way around several times, making sure you hear it click, snap into place. And then once you do that, go ahead and grab the two screws that you took off after you peeled the label back. Uh, it probably went forward again, so you're probably gonna have to peel it backwards again. Uh, that's no big deal. Just go ahead and peel it back. Put the two screws in. Now, the screws are really small, and once again, the tools that are given to you in this repair kit are magnetic, so if you don't have a magnetic uh, torque screws for this, it's going to be a pain in the butt. But just put those two screws back in. Put the label back on. Put it nice and, you know, rub it a couple times to make sure it sticks. Uh, if you're really anal retentive about it and you want it to stick, just put a dab of glue on there so it sticks and the label doesn't pop back up on you. Once you're done with that, go ahead and then test it out. Hold, press and hold the power button and the TomTom -tom screen should power up, give you the normal looking TomTom -tom boot screen and then it should give you the uh, other screen which is the route instructions video or the screen and then just go ahead and press I agree. Now what's going to happen with this is you've replaced the battery basically what you did was a hard reset. So I didn't see any capacitors on this motherboard so it doesn't really have a, a, you know any kind of extra power storage. So once you yank that battery you basically just yanked all of the settings that the TomTom -tom had. So any of your favorites, uh, any of your uh, places that you like that you had in there, buddies' addresses, gas stations, hotels, theme parks, whatnot, uh, those have all been erased. So you're going to have to manually input them again, and it's just going to be like you open up that TomTom -tom, uh, straight out of the box. And so what I would suggest you do is go through all the prompts, uh, input all your favorites, and then plug it back into your computer for the TomTom -tom home screen, and then just run an update to see if there's any updated maps that it needs to download. Okay, that was the video on how to replace the quote-unquote unserviceable battery on the TomTom -tom XXL550. If you like my video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button on there. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see tech-wise, how-to-wise. 
and uh, I'll see if I can get to it and put it on here for you guys. Okay, once again, thanks for watching my video.